Merry Christmas. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. This prologue will hopefully dampen the negativity that you are about to hear, though quite false, might hopefully not actually happen. About a week before Christmas into the open stage lights came an open mic Grinch who was out for the night. He paid for his stamp and he walked right on in, ignoring a certain list, much to his chagrin. I saw it all happen as I perched on the frame. He just ignored the commandments with only himself to blame. Kelly asked him to read him and he said that he did, but I knew better that was totally a fib. Yelled a rousty, Oi! What? Yelled the crowd. Screamed the rousty, First timer! Welcome! <laughs> Screamed the crowd. The curtains fell back from where they had part, but I fluttered behind him to have a heart to heart. The Ten Commandments of the open stage. You forgot to read them. I know, he replied. And honestly, I really don't need them. Well, they will come in handy and they'll help you have fun. But he bat me away before commandment number one. I called as he walked, through, walked on like a carefree winter breeze. Watch out for the cameras around you. Thou shalt, shalt sayeth cheese. And he frowned as he heard Bobby shudder, click, click. And he flipped Bobby off. <gasps> I thought, what a dick. <laughs> I implored, you should listen. He replied, I should smoke. But when he came back, I could totally tell that he actually went out for a toke. I chimed up and recited, thou shalt be high in spirits alone. And of course, he completely ignored me and got right back on his phone. And even when the commandments were read, unmoved, he did appear. But when, I, when he looked up, it all made sense. He had music in his ears. Thou shalt clap, damn it, I yelled as I removed his musical distraction. Be supportive. Performing's not easy, I said, but of course there was no reaction. The show began, an inspiration by Russ, an incredible act the first. Not yet, not once did he clap. Instead, he exclaimed, man, this show is the worst. I flew away quickly and came back with Pilly and pushed on his tummy to make him sound silly. Thou shalt take thy positivity pill, I loudly professed. He replied, I might pay more attention if you got undressed. I shook my head, ignoring the comment, moving on with my apparent soliloquy. Thou shalt engage, participate, please. But he was obviously ignoring me. Next stacked up was a duo. Monkey and Little G were spinning balls. And not 10 seconds into an ass kicking act, he sneered, I hope one of them falls. I am so much better than these two. Thou not, shalt not keep score, I cried out. Then he jumped up and he ran up onto the stage and the audience let out a shout. He ran between Monkey and G, and he grabbed at their bright, shiny poi, and he yanked them out of both of their hands like a spoiled brat with another's toys. Thou shalt play nice together, or your ass will get handed to you. <laughs> but he started spasmodically spinning, and out of his hands one flew. It cruised through the air, and it hit the first light, and the guy actually looked rather proud. And it bounced up and fell, heating each light after that, glass showering down on the crowd. The people jumped up and ran for some cover, and right up to his ear I flew. The audience was screaming, so I had to yell, Thou shalt respect the venue! You must be responsible for what you did and pay for all of the stuff you just broke. He tried to retort, but couldn't, for he was by Monkey and G getting choked. <laughs> Then Russ stepped in and divided them up, pushing the two circus freaks aside. And if you believe it, the Grinch actually was laughing. But that stopped as soon as he had seen who had arrived. Being contacted earlier, the police had walked in and the Grinch's ass was somewhat saved. 
For Monkey and G and the rest of the house, his ass they did longingly crave. To kick and to punch and to rip into pieces, but the badges escorted him out. What the hell? You told me to participate and I did, the Grinch vehemently did shout. That shalt not confuse this with a democracy, and you didn't listen, my dear. We take care of things when we need to. Don't mess with the bowlers in here. <laughs> You'll hear from my lawyer, he cried as he was led away by the boys in blue. That's too bad, you open stage Grinch. Commandment one was thou shalt not sue. <laughs> and now, my dear friends, the epilogue, of course, it's not quite the end of the story. I'm happy to say that the Grinch came back and professed that he was really quite sorry. I thought about it as, as I sat in my cell and I pondered your talented crew. I heard what y'all said and it all made sense. A community will always support you. I was actually je jealous and I closed my mind to all of the possibilities. And I actually did really want to learn from you and join your circus family. So we paid the bill and we dropped the charges and welcomed him back to our stage. And we realized his change was quite true and that he actually started a new page. So we welcome you all to our menagerie of sorts and, we ho and we'll always help you in a pinch. And we, all, and we hope that you all feel happy and at home even if you are a Grinch. Yeah. <laughs>